Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. Today I wanted to talk to you about mini barrels and I got this for Christmas this year. As you can see all my Christmas decorations are still up. It's actually the day after Christmas when I started filming this and the reason for that is that this is a one to three day process. So if you got one of these for Christmas as well you might want to start now but I'm going to show you what to do with this. So. You've got your barrel, it comes with this cool little stand here, and um, I'm going to do my best to cover this up, so it's got my name on it, but you have some wood burning there. In my case it tells me, you know, barrel aged whiskey, it says my hometown, and it says what year I was uh, turned 21. Now you may have just noticed that some of these rings here are a little loose. The reason for that is that you need to cure this barrel, and by cure that means pretty much like soak it with water. but on the inside. And the reason for that is that these barrels are built to expand. So what you're going to see over the next one to three days is this thing leaking a whole lot of water. So give some thought to where you might want to store this while you're kind of going through these steps in order to kind of not have it leak all over the place. You know, people said bathtubs or sinks. Maybe that's not a good option for you. I'm probably just going to use like a cookie sheet with some aluminum foil because it actually said that some stuff will come out of this and it might stain. So I'm probably just going to do that cookie sheet with some aluminum foil. Either way, the first step is to take your spigot. Now the spigot is pretty nice. Um, you know, it, in this case it's made out of wood. It does turn pretty easily, although a little squeaky. I suspect that might get a little uh, bit better with some of the, the liquid running through there. But um, what you're going to want to do is take your spigot, spigot and there's a little hole there. Put it in the hole, but only push it as hard as you can do without having to use a tool. You're mostly just going for a seal here. So in my case that is Still not very good. <laughs> um, it's definitely a little tight for me. All right, so let's see. There we go. All right, so that's pretty good. And I suspect that as this gets wet and it swells a bit, this might actually be a little easier to put in further. All right, so it also comes with this little guy. And this is a cork for <laughs> the bunghole here. Um, that doesn't need to go in there yet. And actually, you probably can't even fit it in there. So the next step is to fill this with water. All right, so as you can see, this water is pretty hot. I uh, am not about to try to talk through the process of filling this thing up because I'm not nearly that entertaining to talk to you for a minute and a half about nothing while I fill it with water. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna speed through this, but just try to get the whole thing completely filled with hot, hot water. All right, so as you can see, it is leaking a bit, and it will. Um, so what you're going to want to do is place that on here. Uh, as promised, here's my cookie sheet. So uh, you also may have noticed that my spigot was completely turned on. Um, so uh, make sure that is shut. Make sure that this thing is full. It's going to leak for a little bit. And just check on it every like 20 minutes or so during the first bit. And make sure to adjust these rings as well so that it is as tight as it can go. In my case, there were grooves where they should have been. Um, and even the instructions say that during shipping, a lot of times they'll move. So yeah, those are pretty, pretty firmly on there. And actually it's already not leaking as much as it was originally. So um, I'm gonna probably end up filling this up a couple of times, but overall, I'm gonna probably just check back with you in a couple of days. Uh, maybe one, maybe two, depending on the leaking. But what you're going to want to do is refill this, pretty much always keep it full. And then when it doesn't leak anymore, that's when we're going to go on to the next step, which is probably the next thing that you'll see. So I'll see you in a couple of days. All right, so it's been two days. And one thing I forgot to mention in the previous video is that you need to put the bung in the bung hole while you are letting this sit for a couple of days. Um, so. The next step is basically to take this out and to dump it. And you're going to note that you probably won't come across on the video. Um, the color is not very clean. Now I'm sure that the water is probably making my audio a little muffled. So I'm just going to be quiet while this thing drains. I'm going to speed up the video and then I'll talk to you again as soon as it's empty. All right, so about halfway through, you may have noticed that it dramatically increased in speed. Open up the spigot while you are pouring, duh. 
and uh, it will go a lot faster. So the next step is to fill this once again with uh, very hot water um, about halfway through and then you're going to want to swish it around. So I'm going to speed up the video again. All right, so then you want to kind of swish it around. So make sure you're getting all that stuff that may be in there out. I find letting the spigot run a little bit is good. Then you want to continue to do this over and over again until the water that comes out of it is clear. All right, so now that that is empty, we want to make sure we're closing our spigot again. And um, you're going to want to fill this up with whatever whiskey you'd like to use. Now for me, I am going to take some of that Booker's that I keep talking about that's not very good, the 201701. I'm going to see if I can mellow it out a little bit in this barrel. So I'm not going to make you sit through me pouring that, but I will uh, cut to, or I'll speed this up while I'm pouring it in. I am, however, going to keep a little bit in the bottle and then transfer it over to um, another container so I can compare them. Now there isn't a ton left in here, so um, this is kind of going to be a, a little bit of an experiment. So let me try. I changed my mind. I'm going to just pour the whole thing in there because it's not very, not very full. <clears throat> I'd actually really hoped that was going to fill it up a little bit more than it did, but oh well, uh, it's going to be about half full right now. And I'm going to just age that for, you know, I, I remember enough what this tastes like to know whether it aged properly or not. Um, I'm going to let this age probably about two months and then I will uh, probably do a, a review on it during one of my live streams. Um, one thing to note as well, while you are doing this, is that every now and then you're going to want to turn the barrel and turn it again and turn it again. Make sure that that bung is in there really, really tight. And this allows the top to get wet and it will stop your barrel from leaking. So if you notice that your barrel is leaking, you're going to want to make sure you turn it. So that does it. And uh, make sure to check back with me in a couple of months. I'm sure I'll, I'll announce it properly on my channel. So. Uh, if you have one of these yourself, I hope it goes really well for you, and I hope whatever you put in there comes out better. So, thanks for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary. Have a good night.